Hello again viewers, we're outside the Sol Arona Tenerife Hotel in Los Cristianos and I'm just heading out for the day so basically going over the hill there under five minutes away you're at the promenade in the beach in Los Cristianos but today we're going to head up the way to the bus terminus and we're going to, I'm going to jump in the bus, we'll do another video on that so I do believe the free buses for Siam Park and Siam Mall leave from here and also the go-karting as well now I'm not sure of the times on that let me know in the comments if you've had the bus from here before it'd be helpful wouldn't it if they put a wee timetable next to it like a bus stop anyway I'll let you know if I see the bus come by Very hot today, about 30 degrees. And if you're new to the channel, my name's Kevin. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. If you're interested in new videos, then all you have to do is just go below the video. I'll hold on a minute to do it. And hit the wee subscribe button, the red button is absolutely free. Click the wee bell next to it for all notifications. Give it a wee thumbs up. Thanks for watching, we're going to head up to the bus terminus. That's a better view, isn't it? I was speaking to some subscribers recently and it's great to get feedback on the videos but they were saying they quite like them because I focus on what's running about rather than the camera obviously on me too much. So let me know what do you prefer, some people prefer it the other way where you can see the background when you're walking and some people prefer it when you're just pointing the camera ahead everybody's different but it's good to get feedback so if I ever meet you and you're in Tenerife just give me some feedback in the videos tell me what you like, tell me what you don't like if you think I can do anything better improve the channel, let me know but remember I only do walks so it's got to involve walking so I can't do any restaurant reviews there's other guys who do it a lot better than me for, for that um, excursions, probably not. Check out TenerifeFirstExcursions.com if you're interested in excursions, by the way. Just ask for Daniel, he'll look after it. So basically anything that involves walking. So you'll see on the channel we've got walks all around Tenerife. I also do some walks into hotels and apartments sometimes just to show you what they're like. A couple of wee bars and restaurants up on the right hand side here that are popular with locals because they're a wee bit out, out the way from the kind of main tourist area I'd say This bar was quite lively the other night Sol 87 We need like the bus terminus, it just shows how, how close it is to everything. So the bus terminus, depends where you're going, you can buy the wee card to scan it on and off when you go on the bus. You can now pay the driver in cash as well. Lewinsky's, that's quite popular at night, they sometimes got a wee Spanish keyboard player playing there, so I think it's quite local. Three course meal, nine euros sixty-five. So if you're wondering how expensive is Tenerife, not very expensive. I would almost say that you could struggle to spend your money sometimes here. If you're going around bars all day and it's a euro fifty a pint, two euros, then you're not going to spend much money, are you? Now here's a wee tip with the buses. It's not really a secret. You can get an unlimited uh, ticket for the bus. 10 euros and you can jump on and off the bus all day long and that's what I'm going to do right now I'm going to get an unlimited ticket and I'm literally just going to see what, what the first bus that comes and probably jump on it see what it takes me so you might get bus here to Costa Adeque, play a Parizo you can get the bus up to Los Gigantes 
You can also get the bus to the North Airport, so if you're having to fly from the North Airport to maybe somewhere else in Europe, because I don't think they fly in the UK, you can also get the bus here. It's about €9 Euros for the bus here up to the North Airport. And obviously the unlimited ticket is €10. Euros. Now if you're going to the airport, obviously you're not going to use the unlimited day ticket. But I think the unlimited day ticket is quite good value. You can start here early in the morning. Unfortunately, I've not started early in the morning. It's about half eleven just now. But you start early in the morning. You can just jump on and off and visit different wee places. Pop in for a bite to eat. A wee glass of wine or a beer. I'll let you know how I got on anyway with this unlimited ticket. You'll probably see some other vlogs from other places. And here's a wee ticket booth here. So... Basically, you can get your tickets from here. Bus is going all over the place. And if you're wondering where the Apollo Center is, where the Victory Bar is, the Shires, ZZ's, and a few other bars, it's literally just up here. I'll do another vlog walking through there. I walked through it the other day, it was pretty quiet actually. Maybe busier next time I go through. I'll just show you where the Apollo Center is because sometimes if you come in here you might have missed this. It's a, it's a favourite term in the travel travel guide books, hidden gem. So there's quite a lot of people go to the Apollo Centre. They're going quite a few of the bars. There's a nice wee tapas bar, La Therese as well. There's Little India. There's quite a few places. Here we go. At the Apollo Centre now, the bars are not at the front, they're at the side and at the back. Let's just up here, I'll show you. <laughs> a wee bit of shade here, so I'm just going to pop here for a wee minute, cool down. Okay, so that's the Apollo Centre. So down there we've got Leo's, we've got the Victory Bar, and a few other places. I'll do another video in there anyway. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give it a wee thumbs up. I'll see you in the next one.